The rally to restore sanity was over a week ago, and I realized that if I were a news organization, I would have missed my deadline by about a week. I hope you don't mind. Good morning, Five Thingers. It is 5 of 7 in the a.m. Alicia just went to get donuts. Miles is out in the parking lot, and I'm about to grab my stuff and head out. Uh, what are we forgetting? We didn't forget anything. Let's go keep some sanity alive. We got to the metro station to catch the train. Miles was camera shy. Oh no! <laughs> I've been to this metro station more than any other in DC, and I've never seen it this crowded, especially at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> He's like, turn around, go backwards, go backwards! <laughs> the good news was, after a completely packed train came through that we couldn't fit on, they added an empty train, which meant that me and the Five Things crew got to sit down our whole way into the city. <laughs> As we got closer, more people piled in. And more. And more. We got out at the Chinatown stop, and that was when we started hitting the first major foot traffic. And I don't mean major like it was crowded, I mean major like I've never seen DC look like this. And that was just the beginning. In case you were wondering, the porta potties were in place, and yes, I used one. And while God never made himself known at the rally despite several attempts by Father Guido Sarducci, Miles and I did spot the flying spaghetti monster. On our way up to the front, we saw many of the amusing signs that everyone has been talking about since. And I also spotted this gorilla. Yeah, never really figured out what that was about. We finally got situated right behind 4th Street, which it seems like that was the closest you were allowed to get. The block closest to the stage was reserved for VIPs and disabled and not us. Everything that happened during the three hours of the rally has already been covered to death, so I won't bore you with all the details again. But Jon Stewart, Stephen Colbert, The Roots, Ozzy, Youssef, Adam and Jamie from Mythbusters, Everyone was awesome. When the press started grilling Jon Stewart about the rally and about the political connotations and what they meant to do and accomplish with it, Jon very simply replied, We have TV shows and we wanted to do a really good show for people that took the time to come out and see us. And I feel like we accomplished it. And they did. They really did. It was an amazing show. Stewart's speech at the end has been given a lot of attention probably because the auto-tune version has over three quarters of a million hits at this point. Just New Jersey, just, just New Jersey. But what Jon Stewart said on the mall that day is the same thing he says on his show every night. And I think everyone who came was already on his side. And I felt like, maybe for the first time, I was completely surrounded by people who thought like me. Young people, old people. Christians, Jews, Muslims, no racial ethnic boundaries, nothing mattered. Everyone there is sick of the news pretending that we never get anything done, and that we'll never get along, and that no progress will ever be made. And she's a witch, and he's a bigot. Can't we just move forward and have some civilized discourse in our country? As the crowd broke up, I finally started to realize how many people were really there. Because up until that point, it wasn't very easy to tell. We had gotten there at 10.30 and people had continued filing in for at least two or maybe three hours after that, causing police to close streets blocks away from the mall, and it's a good thing they did. This is amazing. If Stephen Colbert wanted to have his march to keep fear alive, he should have done it immediately after the rally. You could be a fast Again, the trip home was surprisingly undramatic, except when Miles spilled his soda on the floor at Subway. But yeah. <laughs> the <end. laughs> Oh, come on, do I have to do a takeaway? Fine, but I'm gonna let Stew Beef do it. We hear every damn day about how fragile our country is on the brink of catastrophe torn by polarizing hate, and how it's a shame that we can't work together to get things done. But the truth is, we do. We work together to get things done 
every damn day thank you, jon stewart